Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to tame a Quetzal with a partner. However, if you play solo, click this link and I'll show you the only way to tame one by yourself. When you're starting off, you need one guy in an Argent to pick you up and follow the Quetzal, while you're dangling underneath trying to shoot the Quetzal and knock it out. There are three types of ammo you can use at the moment. Trank arrows with a crossbow, tranquilizer darts and a long neck rifle, or shocking tranquilizer darts that are also fired from a long neck that are twice as powerful as the normal ones. First, find yourself a low level Quetzal. They're quick and easy to tame, and once you have a low level, taming the high ones becomes a lot easier. Okay, let's go for it. Get the guy in the Argent to fly you close to the Quetzal, then start shooting it with whatever weapon you've brought. I'm going to start with Trank Arrows, then Trank Darts, then finally Shock Darts, just to show you what each do. As soon as you shoot a Quetzal, it will try and fly away, so it's the guy on the Argent's job to keep you close to it. The Quetzal will also keep changing direction, just to be a pain in the ass. Sometimes it looks like you're supposed to hit, but for some reason it just doesn't. Now for the normal Trank Darts. Like I said, I'm just swapping weapons to show you the different types you can use. When you begin in the game you'll be using Trank Arrows, but later on you can make Trank Darts. All this moving around and changing direction can make you feel a bit travel sick. You'll miss a few shots now and then, so make sure you bring enough to spare. <laughs> How much teleport did that give you? Just keep at it and you'll eventually wear it down. It makes that landing sound when it's knocked out. Quickly get down and clear the area of anything that can harm a Quetzal, as if there's any Carnos around they'll kill it. Its torpor doesn't go down that quickly so you've got time to secure the area. First, like all your tames, put a wooden spike wall around it. Or you'll get crafty little carnivores like this trying to make a meal out of the Quetzal. Up a Try and make sure the spikes are far enough away from your tame, otherwise you'll get larger carnos like the Rex leaning over and biting the Quetzal. A friend on Yard just scouted the area and there's no Rexes around, so I just have to guard against Sabres. If you don't know already, if you move away from your tame, the game's very likely to spawn something in to kill it. So when you're out in the open like this, it's always best to put spikes down. Then on one side leave an opening so you can get in and out. Put spikes down at the front of that corridor to stop anything coming from that direction. 
I normally starve tame creatures to make sure I don't lose a kibble. But on this demo, I'm just going to give it them now. You can find my taming calculator video here. It will tell you how long it will take and how much kibble to give it. What to do now is keep the torpor topped up and wait until it's finished. Once you've tamed one Quetzal, taming any others is easy. As what you can do is build a Quetzal taming cage on top of the first one. I'll give you a close look at it so you can build your own. Place three wood foundations down the centre, then three ceiling tiles off to each side, walls up from the end three high, then three ceiling tiles at the top at each side. You leave the middle open so you can see the Quetzal and where you're going. When you've built one of these you can actually tame a Quetzal by yourself, but of course you need a Quetzal in the first place. When you find the Quetzal that you want, come at it from below, stop and let it fly into the cage, but when it's stuck, dismount and block up the back so it can't escape. And once that's done, start tranking the Quetzal. It will try to escape, but can't, so taming them from now on is really easy. Like I said, you can do this by yourself if you want, but with two or more people shooting it, it goes down faster. There we go, and as you notice, when it passes out, it lands on your platform. Now, it will remain there safe as long as you don't move your Quetzal. But if you did, this will happen. Your Quetzal will drop down, probably near some Carnos, and get eaten. So leave your Quetzal where it is, and you'll be able to tame this new one in the air, away from any danger. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip forward. There you go, and now you can tame as many Quetzals as you want, easily. On my next video, I'll show you the best way to farm metal with a Quetzal. I hope this has been helpful for you, and if it has, please like and subscribe. There's more helpful videos on the playlist at the end. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye!